hopefully he won't screw up like I did. I'm gonna drop some flaps. And I'm ready to go. At 40, you want to start at 40 knots. You want to start pulling up so as not to cause any damage to the nose wheel. Which, man, it's kind of windy. feet per minute and then turn on autopilot. It will attempt to maintain your climb rate or it will get glitched up and crashed. And that's another thing, I forgot to set my heading, my heading bug. You're gonna wanna match the um radial from the Forest Station at San Francisco International. And I'm gonna set this up for my auto for using the knob here and using the middle mouse button. I'm increasing the altitude setting. I'm gonna set it for 2,500 feet, which is just fairly high enough. Displayed. Oh, and you can throw it down a little so as not to get your RPMs too high. And now my VDF is, well, doing stuff. Now, I know that looks like 20 miles right now, but it's really 2.1. I'll zoom in show. So just remember that it goes to the first decimal point um, digit when you go to read that. Now remember that we noted that from that from San Francisco International to uh, I forget what it was called, 23Q, uh, it's going to be about 33.3 uh, nautical miles. So, when we get to about 27 or so, we will probably be able to have it in sight. The autopilot starts beeping to let you know that you've reached the altitude you set. And, well, in the real version, in the real life autopilot, it would overshoot and then rewrite itself. In this one, it doesn't seem to do that. It's not accurately modeled yet. So you have to press the down button over here and set that so that your vertical speed is at zero. And right now it's set up to maintain 2600. Uh, and yeah, it is kind of windy. We're going to be landing in crosswind conditions. Actually, the autopilot was beeping when I was a thousand feet away from the altitude I wanted it to be set at. So I'm just setting it to climb at a rate of 500 feet per minute. 
and maybe it will automatically reach that out. And we're about halfway there now, so we're going to switch off this uh, radio and switch to magnetic heading using the heading button. And then I can use this knob to set the heading to match what is being displayed on the ADF. So that shows about 30. So I'm just going to move that heading bug over. and bring it back to 60. Using the middle mouse button, you can um, use the heading, bu the heading bug in 5 degree increments. And uh, as expected, the autopilot did accurately stop climbing at the heading I wanted. I mean, at the altitude I wanted to climb. I know I'm probably flying dangerously too low, or at least by FAA regulations, but I don't really care, because I'm, I'm getting where I want to go, so that's all that really matters. Yeah, clearly I forgot to calibrate the magnetic uh, heading indicator. I forget the exact number. I know it's off by about 10 degrees. This is not a real compass, it's, um, I think it's called Horizontal Situation Indicator, and that is powered by a uh, vacuum, so you really should calibrate it to match your compasses up here.